Greetings and good afternoon to you. Welcome to part four of the Deus Ex Let's Play. So in the last part, it was pretty uneventful. No combat to speak of, just a little bit of exploration and a lot of talking. We met our boss, Joseph Manderley. We met Sam Carter, the quartermaster, Alex Jacobson, Jaime Reyes, our partner, Anna Navarra, and various minor NPCs, UNACO soldiers, and also Janice Reed, the secretary to our boss, Manderley. We got some much needed equipment from Sam Carter, a stealth pistol, and we asked for a lockpick as well. We also found some non-legitimate equipment. Basically, we stole things from storage closets and offices, as well as a, a hidden area beneath Alex's office. And now I'm ready to play. We got a new mission from Joseph Manderley. He also paid us a lot of money, a fair amount. He gave us 1,250 credits. We currently have 2,350. We stole some from the ATM. Our new mission now is to go find a container of ambrosia that the NSF stole over in New York. Once we do that, we gotta go take out an illicit generating plant, a power generator plant, knock it out, and also Paul's team can walk right into a NSF warehouse and do his thing. So I already saved. I made an LP4 save before I, uh, before I started. I also dropped some things. We dropped binoculars and tech goggles. And I think we're ready to play, so let's get right going. Talk to this guy. Let's head out. He's been sitting here this entire time, but he was playing video games in there. All right, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the shipment? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. Okay, let me pause real quick once she leaves, and you probably guess that Anna Navarro is rather bloodthirsty. She's definitely an ends before the means, ends justify the means kind of person. Let's look at this image, Ambrosia Flyer. That's what it looks like, and that's what we gotta find. 20 CC equals one dose, and effective in 48 hours. Even shows you the length times width times height. Um, thingamajig. Warning, Ambrosia is a non-organic compound containing eutactic components that minister only in verified cases of grade death. So before we start, I want to say, I want this mission to go out a certain way, so there may be a cut if it doesn't. For those of you who have played this game many, many times like I have, you probably know why um, I want to do that. If not, that reason will become prevalent later on. So let's exit and quickly, not that direction, let's go in this direction. Hopefully this will work. If, do if it doesn't, I can just reload and you won't have to watch my repeated attempts. Because when I usually play this game, I do have to repeat this sometimes because this mission is a little weird. Like I said, I wanted to go out in a certain direction. And you will see. This is Castle Clinton. There's some NSF, rather, UNACO soldiers off to our right here. We're going to close these doors. Okay, good. I don't think... Okay, they were not, uh... I think it worked. That was try number two. Try number two. So let's make another save. Outside Castle Clinton. I don't want the UNACO soldiers engaged with the NSF in this, uh... This area. So that was taken care of. Only took two tries. Marvelous. Let's go over to the park. There's something I want to do over here. That's just a singing bum. Let's not give him any attention. All right. Ah, good. They've got hostages in the subway station. All right, the UNACO soldiers here in the park have already taken care of the NSF soldiers. We lost some of our men. Nice knife. Looks like ours. Let's loot this. Didn't mean to kill that rat. My goodness. It's just a rat. No big deal. Got some beer. We got one dead UNACO soldier here. I'm not gonna loot him because he doesn't have anything on him. I already right-clicked him just now. If, it, if you right-click on an enemy and it doesn't work, a dead enemy, 
you don't get anything, that means they don't have anything. 10 millimeter ammo from this NSF terrorist here. Where's the other one, though? The NSF seems to be falling back. I heard something. Ah, there's another one over there. I think that Unaco soldier is going to take him out or not. Rest in peace. Give me that. All right, this park is secured. Perfect. You heard that? Let's get our electric prod out. Let's go ahead and save. Actually, let's not save. Let's just wait. Is someone there? There's a lot of us out here, man. Let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna do something. Nothing. I guess we're safe. I think he's in he Yep, he's in here. I haven't said this in a while, by the way. How about you? How about you? Got kind of messed up a little bit because he turned right when I was about to do that. Let's reload. And excuse me, there are four NSF terrorists in this park, not three. I thought there was three. But let's put this away, and I think we're good to go. I was making sure I actually looted that terrorist right there. Let's go back to Castle Clinton real quick. Just gotta make sure of something. Because sometimes... Sometimes... Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride from... Let's not give that bum any attention right now. He doesn't say anything important. He just sings. Because sometimes, um... I don't notice that NSF soldiers might recognize you before you close those doors. Because I remember a long time ago, I came back here and the trigger didn't, for later on, didn't happen because the UNACO soldiers here and Navarra engaged with the NSF terrorists in the statue. Statue. Castle Clinton, we already took care of the statue. But now I think we're ready to go ahead and loot everything around this area and all that. But there's many ways inside Castle Clinton. Gonna get rid of that little icon next to the Ambrosia Flyer. You'll see. Don't let me get in your way, officer. Good. One more him. Grab these. Grab as much equipment as you can. Always explore this game. There's always stuff hidden around somewhere. Like, this is one of those games, like back in the day. I don't think I've even uncovered every single hidden area in this game. I don't think so. Maybe most of it. Because when you come back to replay this game, over the years, there's always something you didn't know existed. For example, one commenter mentioned he didn't know about the uh, the ship near Harley Philbin in, um, on Liberty Island. Look at that. Don't have nobody at the side entrance. NSF could just walk away. Ah, uh, that's an important clue. NYPD. I call him the Flashlight Brigade. All they ever do is come out here and scare the birds. Then I go back to sleep. Huh, that's funny. All right, let's go back to where we started. Where that kid was and where our boat buddy is. And let's finally go ahead and make a continuing save here. Right here. Got a lot of saves already. Now there's something down here, I believe. So let's jump in the water. There's some crates. We got a med kit. That's marvelous. We'll take it. And we got a lockpick. That is excellent. Let's leave. Also, the sound effects in this game is uh, rather loud. I should probably turn it down. I turn it down in post, but maybe I should turn it down in the uh, in the settings. I will worry about that after this let's play is over. But likely, I'm just going to forget. Let's talk to that kid. He's actually very important. I'm going to drop this, though. Starving. Do you have anything to eat? Now we could say you don't look that bad. Tell me what you know about the NSF, but that's mean. Let's give him some food. All I have is a candy bar. Don't matter. I just need something in my stomach so I can fall asleep. Here you go. Do you have a place to stay? I sleep out on the dock where they unload the speedboats. Speedboats? Is that how the NSF get their supplies? I don't know. They're always coming in and out of the tunnel behind the soda machine. Interesting. Hmm. I spy on them from the crates. The code is 9183. Clever boy. Thanks for the snack, mister. It's the least I can do. 
All right, the reason why I dropped that soy food is because I don't want to give him soy food. I want to give him a candy bar. So we don't have much soy food. I'm trying to collect both of this stuff. We have plenty of room for it. Especially since we dropped the binoculars and tech goggles. But if you don't give the kid any food or you don't have any food, he's not very nice to you. Though admittedly, JC is actually kind of a... Kind of a prick about it. Since you don't look that bad. He tells you to go to hell, the kid. It's funny. Let's go ahead and save. We're going to enter behind the soda machine later. Because we're still going to explore this level, this map. Because there's something over here. There's an NPC we can talk to. There's also something here. An eagle statue and a bottle of... Or a vial of Zyme. This is a drug. A vial of Zyme brewed, himself, brewed up in some basement lab. I'm going to put it right here. We're going to keep that. We're going to talk to... Uh, Somebody kill me! Anybody! This sick man. I'm sorry. I can't kill you. Please. Go to a public clinic. They can do something for the pain. It's true. It's your whole body. Every cell. You have the Grey Death? I can't make it. I just can't make it. It's kind of interesting, or fitting, or coincidence that our last name is also Grey. Got some stuff here. United States Navy. Bunch of deceased uh, names, I believe. This is from the mod as well, because the base game doesn't show you the names, of course. I mean, it's an old game. In fact, the graphics really aged before mods uh, came to play. Like, I do remember the Project HDTP mod. That one was in development, started in development even when I was a teenager. That one's been around forever. I believe the last update was 2015. I'm gonna go in the park later. There's some stuff in the park we can grab. But there's one more NPC I want to talk to before we do anything else. There's a lady bum here. We're gonna talk to her. Got five credits for someone who's got the gray death. Uh, sure. Here you go. God bless you. That doesn't really do anything. And also, this conversation's a... Uh, a bit odd the way the perspective of the camera after you finish the conversation with this woman. You can see JC's backside for a little bit. This is the only time that happens in this, in this entire game. But you get nothing from doing that. That's just something if you like to do. You know, you do get plenty of credits in this game, especially uh, once you bump up your computer skill. Let's go over here real quick. Anna Navarre is probably getting really, really impatient that we're not invading Castle Clinton with her yet. Is there something over... Actually, there isn't anything over here. I thought there was a lockpick over here. Pretty sure there's a lockpick somewhere. Because we currently have seven. Oh, well, let's go back to... The beginning. We've got your back, Agent. Let's talk to these guys first. And this girl. The Ambrosia is somewhere inside the castle. Gotcha. We already saw the schematic. So let's go, uh... Let's go back to that soda machine. here if you need me. Alright, there's multiple ways inside the castle. You can take the direct approach from those doors that we just left, that we closed. There's also another way that I'll explain later. And there's a third way. This way. We're gonna go this way. We gotta waste some, uh, use some lockpicks, not waste. That's what they're used for. If you have it, use it. I believe there's a mod, too, to unlock the, uh, consumable limit of these, uh, lockpicks and stuff, but... No reason to, uh... Well, I have no reason to use it. I'm fine with the limit. Here we go. We got some points. We also got a multi-tool, some flares. We don't need those. A bio cell. I think there's something down here, so let's check. Ah, there's some bullets. We'll take that. We also have nothing else. Just bullets that are lying all the way down and soaked with water. Also, this is the wrong way. You gotta find a ladder. There we go. Be careful here. 
Because I hear footsteps, and those are likely NSF troops lurking around the corner. Let me go ahead and make another save. Inside Castle Clinton. I'll make a quick save, and we'll go ahead and crouch the, west, the rest of the way. Okay, there's no one here. Got Prod Charger, we'll grab that. There's also this here. Go ahead and close that. Just be like a ghost, like nothing's been touched. Or, uh, with no footsteps left behind, no prints, no nothing. Let's go this way. Bypass some enemies. So you don't need to take out every single terrorist if you don't want to. That's not, no, not really the objective of this mission. Our objective is to find the uh, container of Ambrosia. There's that... There's a terrorist coming this way, so I'm going to save. Get our baton, trusty baton out. Okay. Nope, they're going to see us. Let's go this way. Let's get our prod charger out just in case we run across anybody. Up, oh, I hear... Yep. Nope. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. That was a spectacular failure. Part two. That's my second death in this entire playthrough. Well, let's try again. I guess. Careful here. Now he's probably gonna come back really quickly. And that terrorist is probably gonna come in this direction. So let's wait for him. Be very, very careful. This is a bad area to be stealthy in because it's like very tight. You can run into the terrorists very easily if you don't know their positions. And I should know better because I know their positions, but Whatever. That one's coming back, so... I think we'll wait. I probably won't skip ahead. You're gonna have to wait with me, guys. It's only been 18 minutes. Should take less than a minute for him to, uh... Come this direction. I wanna knock him out. Patrolling guards I wanna take out first. The ones that are stationary, not a big deal. Passed about two or three on the top level. Here, there we go. And hopefully that other terrorist won't see us. Anyways, how about you? He has a flamethrower. We're not going to pick that up, though. Yep. This way. So you're going to see something here in a little bit. I'm going to save. They don't react to dead bodies, these um, NPCs. Just not coded in that way. How about you? Give me that. He's got a key to a Castle Clinton safe. That is excellent. I don't know if you hear something. That's a surveillance camera. Right off to our right here, if you see. Yep, right there. It's moving very, very slowly. Let's open this. Drop these bullets. Let's go up in this direction first. Thankfully, those cameras take a while to see us. So it's a good thing. Now, I know where the container Ambrosia is, but uh, I'm not going to go find it yet, because I want to go up here first. Now, this direction. We'll press this button. We got some points. That's wonderful. You're inside the kiosk of Castle Clinton. The bulk of the NSF troops must have gone through here to get underground. This is uh, the area where we close the doors at. There's a lot of terrorists up here. We're not going to fight them. I'm going to check my skills, though. We got enough to max out computer, which we will do. Now we're a master in the computer. And my memory is a bit fuzzy, but I thought I had enough points to spend it on to max out computer before we even go to uh, Castle Clinton, before we even leave Liberty Island. Let's save. Get our key ring out. Oh, we don't have the... Uh, we don't have the key yet. I believe the key is down here somewhere. So let's go try to find it. I think we can run now. There's no terrorist nearby. And we could unlock that, but there's another way. I'm gonna go over here first. Watch out for that Q 
camera. I think there's something around here that I can grab. Hmm, guess not. Let's get under here. Grab these rockets. Not like we need it, because we're not going to pick up a rocket. Okay, there's nothing here. I thought there'd be... something important. I guess not. So I'm going to save again. There's a couple ways to get through this door. You can use lockpicks, but I don't want to spend any lockpicks. So instead... We're going to blow it up. And get out of the way so we don't get hurt. I don't think that alerts NSF troops. I think they're a bit far away, I hope. I hope so. Got some area location bonus. Got a look area location bonus. Lovely. There's something here. That's a nano key. To the kiosk doors that we just left. We also got an augmentation canister. That is excellent. And a data cube. Commander Grimaldi, we liberated two canisters of this stuff along with the Ambrosia during the Liberty Island raid. But none of our people are quite sure what it is or what to do with it. Possibly a biological or chemical agent. Without the proper people and equipment, there's no way to tell. Lebedev suggested we keep one of the canisters and a barrel of Ambrosia here as a contingency. The rest was shipped out to the airfield an hour ago. No, that's good information. We also don't really need these. I'd like to delete these after reading them. I only really keep codes, passwords, logins. And that's it. Got some rockets here. Like I said, we don't need that, but we'll grab it. Why the heck not? We also got a... If I can get up properly. A med kit. A napalm canister for the flamethrower that we didn't grab earlier. We also have a personal computer terminal that we'll log in eventually. Most importantly, we have a security computer terminal. We'll open this. And we'll hack it. You see how fast it is with Master? We got a whole bunch of the bar left. Let's turn this off. Turn off this camera. Also kill that terrace if you'd like. And there's, I believe, two on that top level we came from. I don't know if you uh, know the layout, if you've never played this before, but... That's from the top level. We bypassed that because we went through the... Uh, went through the vents like a... Uh, like a solid snake or Sam Fisher. What Sam Fisher does not I don't believe. Let's hack this. Open that. Why the heck not? No emails, unfortunately. We'll log out. That wasn't very necessary, but if you came from the top above, you can I'll jump up here. You can swim through those doors that we just opened. But since we came from the other direction, there was just no need. Now that those cameras are gone, I can finally loot to my heart's content. Try to grab that. That's a bio cell. Totally need that. I'm gonna make one more trip through this area. That is a ammo for the assault rifle. That's a multi-tool. I believe. Yep, we are done here. I don't believe there's anything on that second level. It's just just terrorists. I don't believe there's anything up here either. I can't jump that high anyways. Oh, I don't know if you notice that little green glow. Let's go investigate, shall we? Objective complete. Agent Navarre will describe your next assignment and stay behind to protect the Ambrosia. Look for her out front. Excellent. Mission completed. We got 150 skill points, giving us 220. My next upgrade is going to be in either lock picking or electronics. That way we can um, hack through control panels or pick through doors much easier. That's why I play stealthy in the beginning parts of the game. Let's go ahead and save. We're not quite done here yet. I'm going to go up to the kiosks that I've completely forgot. The kiosk area, excuse me. Unlock these doors, because why not? There's a lot of terrorists out here, so be very careful. I'm not going to engage with them, despite the equipment out here. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Okay, we shouldn't... We should be good here. I'm gonna save again and talk to this, uh, little dude. You a cop? You not co-agent. How does a little boy get mixed up with the NSF? I just wanted to find some food. But they didn't have any. And then they started shooting at the police. Got some? Ah, I have to give him some soy food. I want to give him a candy bar. You can have this soy food. You're cool. Glad I could help. Hey, I bet I can help you. Yeah. 
The soldiers have secret tunnels. They take boxes into the tunnel under the fort, but they never bring them back out. What kind of boxes? Steel. Big ones. Thanks. Maybe I'll check that out. Oh, we got some skill points for that. Thanks, mister. You're welcome. I thought I was going to starve to death. Well, that soy food should uh, keep you nice and full. The terrorists didn't even care. They thought I was lying. Right, anything in here, that's that requires two lockpicks. I don't believe there's anything special in there. I'm gonna check, and if I don't like it, I'll just reload. Thanks, mister. You're welcome, Billy. Don't know how we know his name, even though we didn't introduce ourselves. Oh, we got a data cube. Commander Grimaldi, I've completed installation the of the security... didn't even care. They thought I was lying. Installation of the security measures. Code for the primary lock is... Let me do this. 666. Sign of the devil. My goodness. I'm heading out to help Commander Fraze's team prepare for the counter-strike. In the meanwhile, my best advice is to keep your head down. It's going to get real messy, real fast. Decker. The terrorists didn't even care. They thought I was lying. And a bio cell. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Because I wanna because I wanna keep my precious uh lockpicks. So out here I guess I'll show you. Some equipment here you can grab. And if you like, you can you can knock out these terrorists out here. I'm not going to though. I usually do if I play this on my own. Oh, we got some points, nice. But uh we're probably just gonna bypass them to have Navara. Take care of, uh, take care of them. I could grab that, uh, that crate right there. That's, uh, that blue symbol. Usually that means it drops, uh, a lockpick or a multi-tool. So I might try to get that. If there's not too many terrorists in the area. Actually, I think I'll just grab this. That. Got it. Who's there? I think oh, I'm crap. Take him out. That. Let me just go ahead and reload. Darn it. All right, round two. Alrighty then. So like I said, I'm trying to have this mission play out in a certain way. I'm not sure if the trigger is from something else or from actually killing terrorists. I'm trying not to kill any terrorists. If it was in any other situation, I would just put out my shotgun and shoot him in the head. Because I'm, I'm not going for 100% knock out all NSF terrorists or anything like that. Just want something to trigger properly. Stealthy first, and then the claws come out. I think this might be too much, uh... Too much of a pain in the butt. We could knock out, knock out some of them, though. Or for that guy to turn around. I know I heard something. That was a... Ah, there we go. Multi-tool. Excellent. Careful here. Hide behind the crate. No, I heard something. Okay, let's get back inside. I think it's safe enough. I saw a key in there. I'm not going to grab it, I don't think. I'll close this door, though. I was hearing things. We'll also close... Can't close that door, darn it. That's a kiosk door key. No new reason to worry about that. Close this, and... Let's go back the way we came. Make sure we got everything, by the way. Everything in here. When talking and gaming, it's like, it's easy to forget things. Well, I think that's everything. Let's head back to, uh... Let's head back to Navarre, shall we? Oh, it's horrible. Oh, Lord have mercy, why? You are too gentle with the NSF, but I cannot complain. You completed the objective. At least you are not a coward like Paul. Oh, I didn't know she ran all the way over here. I remember. Usually I go ahead and knock out all those terrorists inside Castle Clinton. And I just walk out the doors and talk to Navarra. But we went the other way. We went right through the, the soda machine. Because I don't want to take out those terrorists. We'll just leave, it her, leave them to Navarra. So you can be mean if you want to. You mechs might have copper wiring to reroute your fear of pain. I've got nerves of steel. I'm not going to choose that. I'm going to choose this. I'm learning as I go. You just passed lesson one. Lesson two is how we deal with the terrorists in the subway station. I'm ready. 
The terrorists have wired the platform with explosives and put in hostages. Get the hostages out if you can, but make sure the NSF learn that human shields will not work against you, Natco. Nothing we can't handle with a few EMP grenades. We are thinking the same thought. I will equip you with two grenades. They will disable any electronic detonators within a radius of 20 meters. Nice. Got two EMP grenades, we can use those. We also got 10 skill points. Complete our secondary goal. We found the location of the Storm Barrel of Ambrosia in Castle Clinton. We reported to Agent Navarra. And also, if you're mean to her, and uh, you say you have nerves of steel, choose that line. She only gives you one EMP grenade. And she's not... She doesn't really enjoy that. So let's organize this. Also, this is... An upgrade, or rather an installation for Aqua Lung. And environmental resistance. That right here. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Your brother Paul has gotten our troops into another mess. Really? Don't talk about my brother that way. Let's go over here first. I want to talk to those soldiers. But anyways, that's why I wanted to trigger. I want this level to be a non-lethal level. And the way it triggers is... I'm 99.9% .9 sure it triggers just by engaging in combat with between the NSF in here and UNACO soldiers out here. If they don't fight these NSF terrorists, then um, it's considered non-lethal the way you approached it. It's a, weird, it's a weird trigger and I don't think it's supposed to be... I don't think that's supposed to work. I think it's supposed to be whether you actually kill terrorists here or you knock them out. Because I'm playing with the latest official patch. I think it's fixed in the unofficial patches if there's any of those out there. Good work. Thank you. We'll take it from here. Okie dokie. Also read this if you like. One thing I like about this mod, this texture mod, is that you can read this stuff if you want to. That's pretty cool. And it's an old game too. It came out in 2000. My goodness. Let's go back to the uh, park. But yeah, like I said, I think it's fixed in unofficial patches. Because that's kind of a weird trigger. Same thing for, uh, I guess, uh, on Liberty Island. If you kill just one terrorist on Liberty Island, it's considered lethal. And Paul doesn't like you. Well, he doesn't, he chastises you. He doesn't, like, hate you or anything. In this one, it triggers from... I heard you. In this one, it triggers, like I said, if they get into a fight with Unaco and SF and Unaco. But let's just move on from that. That was a successful outing. Let's go ahead and grab this prod charger. There's some stuff around here, by the way. There is... A crate right here. Requires two lockpicks, though. There's ways to open it. If we can find TNT barrels, we can open it. But there's none nearby. They are... There are some in the uh, subway station. But uh, we have to engage with the terrorists there. And I'm probably not going to. In fact, I don't think there's anything in those crates anyways. I can always just save, open, load, and just reload. I don't mind doing that. I find it fun to do that even though, you know, it is save scum, but I still enjoy games when I when I save scum. Ah, soy food. We'll grab that. Got some mattresses here if you want to take a nap. We also got a lockpick here. Excellent, I'll take that. We got six now and nine multi-tools. I think there's something around here, though. Turn off the lights. We're running low on bio on bioelectrical energy. Hmm. Anything around here? Ah, great. Excellent. Now, there's multiple ways in the subway station. We can go through here, which is heavily guarded. Or we can... go through here. I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna go in there in a few minutes. Let's go back to those, uh... Those storage lockers. You scared me. I thought you were an NSF terrorist. I completely forgot that guy was standing there. Standing there in the corner with a knife. That's scary. That's the thing out of a horror movie. That crate's over here, right? Nope. It's in this building and that building over there. So let me go ahead and save and I'm going to go ahead and open this. I think quickly just... Uh, Actually, no, let's go ahead and use lockpicks, because there might be something useful in here. Requires two, because our skill is low, unfortunately. 
There we go, you pick the lock. And there is a med kit and a prod charger. It's always wise to blow up, blow up, blow open those up. My goodness, my English. I speak good English, guys. That way you bypass uh, having to use lockpicks. And then here is an, another lockpick and a multi-tool and a candy bar. Excellent. Let's make, go ahead. Blah. Let's go ahead and reload. My goodness. Let's go ahead and step on that rat. Oh well, rats are a menace anyways. It's not like I'm stepping on a dog or a cat, of which I would probably reload if that happened. Not probably, I would reload if that happened. Let's go ahead and open this. Two lockpicks in exchange for one lockpick and one multi-tool. And a candy bar. Marvelous. Turn this off and let's go back to the alternate entrance. We're not going to assault the subway station because there's hostages down there. Let's go in. I'll go ahead and uh, close that if I can. Which I'd like to do. Go ahead and save. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? And then we go... Danger. Confined space. Hazardous atmosphere. Air supplied respirator required for entry. You don't need to worry about that. We don't need such a thing. Let's get all the way down to the bottom. We'll turn on the lights. I haven't used any bio cells yet because kind of no need. We have plenty of uh, bioelectrical energy. And speaking of which, if you go into the augs here, you can see how much energy is used up when it's turned on. For light, 10 units a minute. For microfiber muscle, 20 units a minute. So that basically means five minutes for a light, I believe, because we have 100 units of energy if it's maxed out. Also going the wrong way, excuse me. I wanted to be all the way on the bottom because there's a reason for that. There's a lot of terrorists in that, uh, in that subway. Our concern is the hostages not taking out the terrorists. There's a really easy way to do this. Very, very easy way. You can totally just go ahead and once I get closer. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. We didn't see any yet uh, booby traps. Let's go ahead and save. Turn off the lights. I had to save because this is kind of sort of tricky to do. You don't want any NSF soldiers uh, looking in your direction, like that one behind the guy with the flamethrower. Sure. Who are you? I'm a UNATCO agent. As soon as I open the train doors, I need you both to be ready to run on board. Okay. He could have seen you. Let's do this. Get out of the way. Out as hell, the hostages will be all right. Now take the train to Hell's Kitchen and report to your brother. Mission complete. We got 300 skill points. Primary goal finished free the hostages and this mission could have gone badly by the way because these hostages could have easily died and you would have been yelled at by Alex um, Navarro probably approves as long as the terrorists die let's be careful here I want to grab that uh, crate before I leave there's some equipment in the area usually when I play this game um, I free the hostages I let them go inside the subway and uh, I take out all the terrorists here on my own. I knock them all out. Someone there? Ah! Careful. Careful, careful. I was hoping to go. In I can't go in here. Nice. Excellent. I I heard We're like a ninja. I don't know how JC can be so stealthy with a big baggy coat. Wait for that guy to leave. Yep, that's it. Let's go ahead and save again. Why don't why don't we? <clears throat> yeah, like I said. This is why I like this game. There's multiple ways to finish an objective. Multiple ways to approach things, and the game accounts for it. Like I said, usually when I play this, I wrap out every single terrorist in this uh, subway station, knock them all out, and I loot them, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave.
There we go. You saved my life. You're very welcome. All right. 42 minutes and we're on a, off to a good start. Yeah. How's it look on the street? How's what look? The fighting. Is it heavy? The cops told me to take cover in the bar or come down here. They've got the NSF surrounded in the Tawn Hotel. Hostages? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. That conversation went kind of nowhere. Let's make a new save. I guess we'll just call it that. NYC Hell's Kitchen. Then make a quick save. And we'll also go ahead and talk to Paul. He's somewhere in the area. There he is. Let's get down here. What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets, and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. Nice. We got a key to the uh, hotel room and a prod charger. Now you can talk to him again. He has some flavor text. Use reasonable force like you did on Liberty Island. And if you didn't, he says something along the lines of, um, use minimal force this time. You took a lot of lives on Liberty Island. Actually, that's word for word. Amazing how the stuff you remember, eh? Anyways, we got a mission. We got to find the secret generator at the warehouse. We got to talk to the locals. And that's very loud. I don't know if that's... Like, uh... Going over my voice, I gotta check and post. Let's talk yeah. to her again. We're looking for an illegal power generator in this area. Can you help me out? I might have heard something. How much money you got? 50 credit? Sure, we'll pay. Sure. Appreciate the business. Yeah, I met this truck driver a while back. He had a lot of cash. I asked him where he got it, and he told me he'd just hauled some power cables to a warehouse near here. Do you remember the name of the street? Didn't seem like a big deal at the time. You might try that mech chick who runs the Underworld Bar. She grew up around here. That helps a little. Thanks. This guy's buttoning into our conversation. This city's lit up, man. Yeah. Alrighty then. Hey, we're gonna blow the whole place up. Us? Them? Everything! Well, thankfully we, uh... We got there just in time. They're maniacs! Complete maniacs! But she says something else right here. Funny. I thought the NSF was fighting for a good cause. They seem to be I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. Or the NSF. Even though the NSF are taking hostages, like it seems like they're terrorists, right? That's because they are. Anyways. There's some stuff to do here. We got an ATM. We're gonna hack it. Got 786 credits. We will take it. Nice. And of course, if you try to open it again, it says it's out of out of uh, out of service. You can also read this if you like, and there's Quite a bit to read. I'm gonna go through these uh, as slow as I can. Here we go. Battery Park closed until further notice. I'll read this. Due to, due to unidentified terrorist action, Battery Park will be closed to all unauthorized personnel until further notice. Local police working in conjunction with UNACO agents are currently in the process of dealing with a threat. And according to UNACO head Joseph Manderley, the situation is strictly minor, but any time the potential exists for civilian casualties, we must proceed with caution. And here's the last one. You can go through that if you like. And that's all I want to read. Like, reading in games for me is not something I... It's something I struggle with. It's like I have to force myself to read through things, because I just want to get back to the action. And... There's never really a time where I'm glad I forced myself to read something like, uh, you know, all those lore bits and like games that are kind of like, they're just sort of there. I do if the game is really interesting though, and this game is. We're getting reports of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? 
We think at least one of them is still inside. Nope, they weren't down there. So they must be in the area or in the hotel. So I'm gonna make another save. I guess right here is fine. Let's do a backup. Because there's some terrorists in the area, I want to take care of them first. So... I'm gonna go in this direction. Actually, let's go in this direction. There's some shotgun shells, shells here for some reason. I'll grab that. And... Oh, there's something going on over there. We'll come back here in a minute. I'm pausing because I'm trying to see if I hear any uh, gunfire. Because I want to do something. I'm going to go up here. Jump up here. And this is another way into the hotel, by the way. You can get into an apartment or a hotel room through this window, this open window. And we got some points, 40 skill points, marvelous. Let's not worry about that though, let's go up here. There is something down here, something up here that we can do. We got a huge vantage point up here. And here are all the terrorists just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And you can totally just get out your sniper rifle and just uh, shoot all these terrorists in the head. We could totally do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and reload this. Most because I don't have much uh, ammo for the sniper rifle. I'm trying to see since we're since we got a good vantage point, we got a scope. We can just go ahead and uh, knock out all these uh, terrorists. Just highlight them like that, and I think this works. Yep, it's one, it's two, it's three, it's four, it's five. 90 night NSF Terrace. It's one of my favorite things to do in this level, on this map. Now these Unaco soldiers here already took care of these guys, that's okay. That is no big deal, but all the terrorists have been taken care of, I think. I think that's it, so let's leave. And get back down to ground level. Hear the wind up here. This game has really good uh, ambience to it. Like, one of the most important things in games is the sound, the sound design. Sound design can really enhance your gameplay experience. All the way back down. Be careful, because if you take fall damage, it's, uh, it's not very pleasant. Let's go visit that park. All clear. Yep. We took them out. We have the situation under control, Agent. So they sound annoyed. Well, this one does. That line. Ah, they're fighting. It's okay. They're gonna take him out pretty quickly. One there, too. Now they got assault rifles, but NSF's troops don't. I don't believe. He's coming this direction. Nah, he's dead. Now all the terrorists are dead. Dead and knocked out. Mix of. So if you actually kill all these terrorists here and help out the Unaco soldiers, they praise you. They really like you for doing that. Let's loot that guy. He's got shotgun shells. Tranquilizer darts. Nice. Also, if you time it right, if you get all the way up there and all the NSF troops are uh, idle, even these ones, you can knock them all out with those tranquilizer darts if you want to be 100% non-lethal. But this is the point where... We, can, we're, we are free of uh, of all the things we did in Liberty Island and Castle Clinton when it comes to triggering things, because from now on, we can totally just go ahead and uh, be stealthy, but when we get caught, shotgun to the face, or a pistol to the face. Let's loot this area first before moving on, because this part's almost over and done with. Let's go over here. There's some crates here. I'm sure they won't mind if we... Uh, ourselves. We sent some of the civilians into the clinic. It's like, oh no, go ahead, Agent. It's not like you didn't help us out with the terrorists or anything. We did all the work ourselves. Got some assault rifle ammunition. We got some ah sniper rifle ammunition. Wonderful. Your brother spared a lot of lives by clearing the street. Prod charger will definitely take that. Nothing else here. I don't think there's anything in that corner over there. 
I still have a tendency to check because you just never know. Like I said, this game. You just never know where you're going to find. It's like one of those games where you played it so much and you still find things that are new to you. Let's go ahead and loot. Assault rifle ammunition. We got a key. Osgood and Son's back door key. Assault rifle ammunition. Another key we already have. It just picks it up. He just picks up more, even though it's a duplicate. And I don't think it uh, registers in your key ring, of which, if you go here and click on this... Ah, oh, it's a front door key and a back door key. Gotcha. I thought there were duplicate keys. Never mind. You can see the list of keys here if you click on the key ring and the list of ammo that you have as well. You turn on the ammo descriptions, on or off. Pretty cool. And go through all that if you like. Loot him. Shotgun shells. There is a bio cell here. That's wonderful. We'll take it from here. You can get a assault rifle here if you uh, if one of these uh, Unaco soldiers died. But unfortunately, they didn't. Hold back in a situation like this. Or rather, fortunately, because I'm not using the assault rifle. I'm waiting for uh, another weapon to uh, pop up in the future. I'm not going to go through the front there. I'm going to go around around the back. Because we got to take care of what's going on in that alleyway. Us to stay here. Yeah, right here. I'm also going to go ahead and equip a... Uh... Shoot, I'm going to equip this knife real quick, temporarily. Let's go ahead and save. Manual save. An iconic line coming up in just a few seconds. What I'm telling you, girl... You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. For like a few minutes. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo and it's something he wants, you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you how it don't play with me, this amateur, unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, it's business. I want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out is like a game. You get beat out. Well, we should probably intervene, right? What do you want? And here's that iconic line. Though you could say, how much take the lady off your hands for an hour? Or leave her alone? Or have your ass picked up for pandering? Or this, which is much better. You've got 10 seconds to beat it before I add you to the list of NSF casualties. Easy, bro. Just having us a conversation. Five seconds. Girl's got a head full of marbles. I have to get. Well, she don't hear me. Three. She skitches on me. It's my ass, man. One. All right. Go on. Jesus. All right. <laughs> what? He was too slow. He ran out of time. And I always, um... Uh, Sort of kill him like that for for a reason. Just because I don't like, really like him. We're gonna drop this crowbar right here. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into smugglers. Smuggler. Hey, you shouldn't have took down Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out. Who's this Jojo? You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out, and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse. You think you can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You stay out of the way until the NSF have pulled back. I can take care of myself. Are you sure about that? You're backed up into a corner, lady. Let's talk to her again. She has more to say. You mentioned a smuggler. Tough guy like you? Figured you'd be a big customer. What's he sell? Weapons? Drugs? High-priced weapons, yeah. You should talk to him. His place is over near the subway. You have to give him the password bloodshot or he won't let you in. Let's talk to her one more time. Thanks already. Now leave me alone. That is all she says. And there's nothing else here. I don't think there's anything behind here either. Let's turn on the lights just, just in case. That's the print screen button. Darn it. Thanks already. Now leave me alone. Okay, so that little jump cut right there was because that print screen press, the accidental press of the print screen button, 
completely froze my game. I had to exit out and come back in and redo this entire sequence all over again. But when we come back, guys, in part five, we're going to explore more of Hell's Kitchen. This area is going to be a lot more open compared to what we're used to in the previous parts, but I just want to say thank you very much for watching. You've been watching every single one of these episodes, and I will see you again. Take care of yourselves, and have a good weekend. Thank you.